What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day and I'm bringing you a versus. I'm bringing you two of my favorites. Um, this one being an all around camp knife. While this one is a fighting knife, it's definitely, definitely a great camp knife. So I'm going to butt them up together. Boop, boop. And um, show you why I prefer one over the other. If I prefer one over the other. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I've already reviewed, uh, reviewed both of these, so I'll just, I'm going to record some of the old footage and talk to you about, you know, what's going on and why one is better than the other. So, let's first take a look at a couple of these guys right here. Uh, first, uh, first and foremost, the sheaths. Both are great, great leather sheaths. Uh, the Condor sheath is a little bit thicker, a little bit meatier. It's a nice, hefty sheath. However, I prefer the K-Bar sheath because I don't like the dangler, especially since the Condor doesn't have a way to hold it in. But let's talk about the knives. Blurry. Um, so the K-Bar Big Brother. This thing is just absolute classic K-Bar styling. I can't tell if uh, I'm getting blurry in there. There you go. Uh, you have a blade that is 9.375, an overall length of 14.375. Um, you have a leather wrap handle. This is 1095 Crovan steel. You have the flat serrations on the top, flat serrations. Take heed to some of you other companies. These stay sharper longer than the pointy ones. Um, it does have a, a full tank construction with a tail though at the end um it does have a small hand guard it is coated in black it is amazing going over the condor again the sheath ah, wonderful now you have a 14 and three quarter overall with a nine inch blade this thing is polished 1075 steel from el salvador um USA on the K-Bar, got to appreciate that. This thing, to me, the edge is built more like a machete than it is a, uh, you know, a regular knife. Um, I do have a little tiny chip in this one, not in that one. Um, I put them both through some abuse. This one is full tank construction all the way around, which I prefer. It has wooden grips that are pinned in with brass pins. It does have the lanyard hole. Um, this blade is fat. It is a very thick blade. Putting them side by side, measuring them up, blade tip to blade tip. You can see the overall thickness of the condor. I mean, I could resharpen this next, for the next 40 years. I could sharpen it every day, and eventually I'm just going to have a fillet knife. But, wow, is it a crazy, crazy thick, burly knife. Um, grip for grip, it's... Uh, if you have very, very, very big hands like I do, this grip is going to feel really nice. This one has got that classic K-Bar leather grip, and it also feels nice. I'm saying if you have smaller hands, however, you're going to hate this grip. The Moonshiner uh, will not be a comfortable grip for you because this is just going to be too big. It's got a great palm swell. It's got um, great swells at the end. Uh, it's just a, a wonderful overall knife. Uh, during testing originally, I did chip it, but I glued that little piece right back on. It was literally just the end of the wood. Glued it right back on. The thing is brand new again. Um, fantastic. Um, blade thickness. The Condor is a little bit thicker, but again, the edge is does not have the heat treat as this one. The 1095 Crovan holds up. It has held up. It continues to hold up. I still use it. This thing I love as a camp knife. I do use it as a camp knife. Um, and it sharpens very, very easy. So I don't worry about little tiny chips and things like that because they come out very, very simply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you some video that I already took previously of these two knives. I want to give you a good side-by-side, -side, show you what they look like up close and personal. Um, these guys, man, as far as camp knife, you're not going to find much of a better camp knife than the Condor Moonshiner. This is, I mean, it's gigantic. It's a beautiful, big camp knife. Use it for anything and everything. 
this can be used for pretty much all the same stuff that this can be used for. The difference is this one is also one of the best fighting knives you will ever, ever handle. It is just amazing to wield as a fighting knife where this one isn't bad. I mean, believe me, you don't want to fight me if I have this in my hand, but this thing is just a little bit better. The action, the, the movement um, is just awesome. This one feels good. It's going to move well in the hand, but this is just a little bit better. The hand guard really helps. Blur. Um, but uh, let's go over some more stuff. I'm going to take you guys over to the video and we are going to go over that and we'll talk about these two. Let's go. So in my original video with the Condor Moonshiner, I wanted to show you the ability to swing through a water bottle, which we all know is devastating. But that thing actually devastated it. The cut was really clean. It was really pretty. The thing was just nice. So after that, I decided let's take it over and we will get some chopping done. And as you can see, the chunks that this knife takes out of the wood is just freaking ridiculous. I mean, it is just a freaking monster. Kind of like that dude swinging the blade. Look at that man. He's a beast. He's so handsome. So you see that uh, the condor, when it came down to chopping, I'll tell you what, there's almost no second. That thing was like literally swinging an axe. You can see, guys, that I was able to just tear that freaking log apart. And for a camp knife, having the ability to do that is crazy important. I started, uh, started batoning with this thing. I don't remember if I went all the way through this. I know there's that giant knot right there. And uh, I'll tell you what, the, the knife, it came down to can it handle the batoning. And... Um, as far as that's concerned, yeah, the, the knife was able to to handle it with ease. The edge held up. Um, it did a great job. Uh, I remember, I, I'm not sure on this log what I did, if I continued down or if I went through the, yeah, I guess I did. I went straight through the knot. See that? I should watch these before I start talking. But the thing just, and since then, I've done more work with this damn thing. I've taken this thing to Vermont camping and um, I've used it for just that for a camp knife and I've done more batoning with it. Um, the thing is just fantastic as a camp knife. I mean, look at this freaking thing split wood. It's a, uh, it's an animalistic blade. I do love the moonshiner. I later took it over here. I mean, you could watch this video, guys. Go to the go to the Condor Moonshiner video I have up, and uh, and the K Bar Big Brother video up. I have obviously individual videos since you're watching snippets. Um, the thing carved really, really well. You can see as far as uh, feather sticking um, with my hand in the way. I really got to rethink those angles. Look at those long, pretty feathers slices right off and um i'm way out of frame man am i horrible at this or what but uh the just showing you what this thing could do i mean it look at how much wood comes off with each pass then i did some notches obviously we know the knife is gonna notch let's all keep on going all right so obviously you guys know what this is this is where i do some hurling and oh my gosh i missed so it did take me a minute to learn the uh the weight as you can see right there is a good stick it it literally it took me a minute i missed twice before i got that thing to stick um but again this is a camp knife this isn't a throwing knife so missing on that wasn't a big deal so on to the K bar. You notice I didn't use a little water bottle. I decided to pull out a freaking jug. And uh that thing just took it apart. I don't know what just happened there, but just believe me that uh there we go, we're out of the green. Look at this thing. 
Now the difference between this one and the other one is this one is just a straight up fighting knife that can be used as a straight up camp knife. And I'll tell you what, those swings right there just shows how freaking beautiful that blade goes through some stuff. You guys really need to check this video, honestly. So here I brought it to the pallet. I didn't do a log chop on this, but I did a chop chop. And I hit some nice hardwood. And uh, you can really, really see that with ease, it was able to breeze through. The condor, without a doubt is just a chopping freaking master um but this knife right here is absolutely no kind of slouch in the chopping game the k-bar big brother has bite like a freaking t-rex it literally goes through anything i put it against but i have to say chop for chop that moonshiner is just an absolute hatchet in the hand. So, um, let's keep on going. All right, so basically, I wanted to show you that the serrated edge on the freaking spine was just as magnificent and, and absolutely nasty as the actual cutting blade itself. I mean... That thing was ridiculous. And remember, this this knife right here, not just was shave sharp, but it was incredibly shave sharp. Um, you can feather stick with the spine. You can feather stick with the, you know, the edge. Anything you want to do with the K-Bar Big Brother, you're going to get it done. This is a man's freaking knife or a woe man. Whoever uses it is going to love it. Um, did some more chopping action to make, to make tips, you know, some little bit of finer action. Um, and the thing, everything attempted to do it. Did you hear that little pause there? Everything I attempted to do, it just did. It, and it breezed through. Um, and, and this is where I say that the camp knife, I mean, the, uh, the fighting knife can work as a camp knife. You know, this isn't a, a one trick pony type blade. The K-Bar Big Brother gets it all done. I mean, just gets it all done. You can see the bite that's going into this thing. And it's fan-freaking-tastic. Look, I just surprised myself in the video. I said, ooh, wow, look at that. Um, the thing is just, uh, it's a brute. It's a badass, absolute brute. So... When it came time to throw this, I do believe it was a first try just because the overall balance and throwability of this knife. Let me see if I'm right. Yeah, yeah. So that's a stick right there. You could hear it hit. You'll see me pull it out of the pull out of the tree there. Um, the overall ability to chuck this thing was, you know, I said in the video, I said it's capital. And it really is. It is just fan freaking tastic. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get back to these blades here. And um, some pieces. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a few things with the blades right now. I'm gonna do a couple drops. You can see how they fly down. Um, we'll see how straight they fly. It's gonna be four feet in the air, straight down. It's four feet in the air, straight down. And you can see the balance of these guys dropping it from four feet it's tip to tip um i want to give it a little bit of pry in here and it's just crunching through this freaking wood um we'll check the tip obviously there's not going to be any damage i already know that there's not going to be any bending i already know that um man that bite so now we're going to pry here give it a nice good hard dig pull it out let's check i already know there's not going to be any tip damage no bending no dulling no nothing they are fan freaking tastic um we got the rope Urgh! so we'll take out the k-bar big brother and we will easily and i mean easily sear through all that right there i mean that was just easy take the condor and again it is easy to go through we'll take the condor and we'll give it a chop and easy does it goes through now we'll take the K-Ball Big Brother. 
and easy does it go through. I, I have to say the edge, you can just feel it. The edge is a little bit better on the, the K-Bar Big Brother, but that is not taken away from this edge. This edge is fantastic, phenomenal, beautiful, wonderful. It is great. Um, let's see the, uh, the old rubber hose here. Let's move the K-Bar Big Brother down here. Take this one right here. Vacuum cleaner hose. Gone. Oh, I put this down. I went to put that down. So now we'll take the K-Bar Big Brother. Same thing. Gone. It just decimates anything in its path. Both of them, uh, they're just fantastic. I mean, fan-freaking-tastic. These are exactly what you'd want a knife to be. Uh, if you're looking for just a camp knife, just, just a camp knife, the Condor Moonshiner is phenomenal. If you're looking for a camp knife that doubles as a fighting knife, that doubles as, I don't know, a tuck your freaking kids in at night knife, <laughs> um, this thing does everything. It does everything. It is awesome. This guy right here, you know, aside from chopping all the the wood and, and cutting up rope and this and that, at the end of the day, you could still get to the campfire and cut through your steak or, you know, chop up, you know, whatever meat, those frozen hot dogs, separate them. But you could also do that with this. You could do everything this knife can do, you can do with this. This one just gives you um, a better balance for fighting and throwing. Um, if it came down to, all right, Don, it'd be all day, you get to have one of the two. For the rest of your life, you only get one, which I wouldn't want to, hello, little bubble bee. Um, I wouldn't want to, to have to. Luckily, I'm in a position in my life where I can buy as many as I want. Look at that. The bee has chosen the right one. But if it came down to me, if it came down to I could only have one, if I wasn't where I'm at right now to where I can pick up any knife I please, I would go with the K-Bar Big Brother. That's my preference. Some of you might prefer the, uh, the Condor. And you would not be wrong to make that choice. It wouldn't be a bad idea. The Condor Moonshiner is freaking phenomenal. I just prefer this a little bit better. The K-Bar Big Brother to me is one of those ultimate knives. It just does everything. Having the spine serrations, it, it, it's great for a lot of things. The only thing it's not great for is when you have to use your thumb. However, I still put my thumb on the serrations because they're flat serrations. They aren't the pointy kind. So as long as I'm not going, if I did this, those serrations are going to cut me open. If I press my thumb against it, and I'm pressing with a lot of power right now, you can see the little indentions in my thumb, it's not going to cut me open. So I can use that still, but on the Condor, it's got a nice flat spine. So if I need to put my thumb on that, it's just butter. You know, it's just going to be great. So that's my opinion. Um, I prefer the Big Brother as an overall knife. If I'm talking just camp knife, I'm definitely taking this guy right here. Um, but overall... The Big Brother by K-Bar. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'm Donnie B. All Day. And until next night.